going up. Oh my days! I've been playing this game for so long. CPU is emitting so much heat, and I'm sweating so much. What do I do? Airflow core termite man. Airflow core termite We are the termite man cooling service, and we are here to help you solve your problem. Did you know that termites have a special home? We have termite mats, and all over the year, no matter how hot, we can keep it cool. So here we are to help you. And you know how our computers heat up so easily? Think about larger computers. Units as big as rooms and buildings dedicated to them. These are called data centers and they get so hot. But what's wrong with being hot? Well, heat energy that comes from data centers could contribute to global carbon emissions. In fact, if trust the same, Data centers could consume up to 321 terawatt hours of energy in 2030. That's 138,862,771 metric tons of carbon emissions. This is a major contributor to climate change all over the world. It's why us Southeast Asians get summers so hot. However, 40% of this energy use comes from the air conditioning and cooling that the data centers use. Since we live in a technological world, it's not sustainable. The termites are here to solve your problems. Our mounds are so cool. We put holes on the sides and larger holes on top. These are called channels and chimneys. Since nature designed for hot air to move upwards and colder air to move downwards, the holes on the sides support the movement of the colder air inside, thus pushing the hot air upwards. Nature gave us termites such a beautiful mechanism. If only we could do the same to your data centers so that the hot air would be able to escape. You don't have to think about it because we already did it for you. Take for example this data center right here. It is practically the size of a small classroom. These data centers are enough to store data for a small school campus. It has a base of 7.5 meters by 11.5 meters and a height of 4 meters. We used a software called Fusion 360, which easily helped us termites create a data center from scratch. We put holes on top like chimneys and holes on the sides like channels. We wanted to test whether the natural biological processes of a termite mound could apply to hot rooms such as a data center. After creating the data center, we use SimScale, an online service that's used to simulate different types of mechanisms and processes. This time, we used conjugative heat transfer. We set parameters akin to real-life wind speeds. And after two gruesome months, we got this. The Thermite Mound Cooling Service was able to remove external cooling units, such as the air conditioner, thus removing unnecessary energy use. In fact, we are 57% more energy efficient in comparison to other data centers. And we were able to dispel all of the hot air to the point that we got colder than an air-conditioned data center, a 1 degree Celsius decrease. Successfully creating a data center that uses much less energy is such a huge accomplishment. The data center also exhibited airflow just like the termite mountain. That's the magic of a termite cooling service. The application of putting natural processes in the termite mound made heat dissipate like other more energy-heavy machines. Don't believe it? See the results for yourself by copying the link below. Going up.